So, hi guys. In today's video, we are going to be playing around with the Carnival 3 Love to Heat It palette by Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. I bang on about this palette constantly on my Instagram. I It's one of those palettes that I just pick up. I think of a look, I pick it up because I know that the shadows work. I know that there's every colour under the sun in there. And it's just one of those trustworthy, reliable palettes. But obviously, you know, I say that, but you guys need to see it in action. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then stay tuned. So I just thought I'd give you a quick like a look of the palette just in case you haven't seen it. Like I know most of you will have seen it by now, but this is the packaging. It looks really, really lovely. Here we have the actual palette. So we've got the greens, then we've got these warmer colours and then like your berry tones sort of thing. And there's always good to have a black in there. So then you can change the tones of colours. So you don't need like a really, really deep dark shade. You can use that black really sparingly. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. And you've also got these like duochrome, like shifting shimmers as well that are really, really nice. As I say, you've probably all seen it by now, but if you haven't, that was just a little overview. And I just do want to point out as well, you know that I like in a palette where colours are put together with like how you can use them. So like all the greens are together. Look, this dark one can blend into the lighter one and into the light one. Like you know that I love that. So yeah, the, the layout of these are just so, so helpful for beginners. So that is enough showing, more doing. So my base is on, the P. Louise base, and first off, I'm gonna go in and do like my reverse blending sort of thing. So the first brush I'm gonna be using is the P. Louise 143 brush, which is just like a tiny, tiny blending blur, blah, 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 a tiny, tiny blending brush. And I'm going in with the shade Chili Pepper, which is like this like deep sort of maroony color. And that is going right here, right here on the inner corner. As you can see, really, really pigmented straight off the bat. And I'm going up quite high. So I've just patted on that colour and then I'm just going to go around the edges with a really light touch and diffuse out that colour ready for the next one to go over that. Next up going in with the shade Mango which is the orange and I'm using a MC2 brush which is again another small fluffy blending brush. So taking that Mango and that's going right on the diffused edge of that last colour and then also slightly above it. Again, super pigmented and you can see that there is no fallout. Then next I'm going in with this yellow. Yeah, love. And I'm taking that on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and that is just going right at those outer edges to blend out that. So now going on to like the outer portion of the eye, I'm going to use a Sigma E42 brush and this blackberry colour down here, the really, really dark purple, really, really gorgeous colour. And that is just going in and finishing off that like C shape. So I'm stamping it on on the outer part and then when I get to this like overlap I'm very very gently buffing it into that other colour. Hardly even touching my lid. And then these outer edges I'm just gonna tap very very lightly to diffuse those edges, ready for my next colour to go in again. Next up, going in with magenta, this pinky colour, and using a P. Louise 124 brush. And I'm just going to stamp that then on those diffused edges of that blackberry colour. There's some really, really gorgeous, gorgeous colours in this palette. 
and there's just so many looks that you could do with it like honestly the possibilities are endless it literally it has everything in it and so far I'm seeing like no issues there's not been like any sort of catching or anything of the colours on my lid there's no I'm I've honestly there's just no issues whatsoever this is why I trust this palette so much and then last but not least I'm going in with a mixture of these two purples here which is lilac and Tahiti and I'm taking a mix of them on a Sigma E33 brush so just dabbing into both of them and bobbing that right next to that pink and I'm being like a little bit more carefree with this because I just want everything to be blended out. Taking it right over those oranges and yellows right around here, over that pink. And there, as you can see, I've got all my colours down now. It is literally just a case of going back in, re-intensifying and then making sure that everything is blended. And I can also use this eye as a really good reference point as to what this one should look like. So straight away, as I'm looking in my mirror, which is down here, I can see that that purple really needs to blend in with that pink again. But I do need to re-intensify that pink, the magenta colour. So I'm going to go in and get that back to being popping. I honestly feel like you can spend so much time like blending, going back in, re-intensifying. It's just, sometimes it's like very, very therapeutic. Other times I'm like, oh my God, I wish it would just blend. And then just making sure that those edges are blended as well. Going back in with a smidge of that blackberry. Just to get those edges nice and blended. And don't feel afraid of going back in and picking up more colour on your brush. And then from looking at this eye, I can also see that this um, has become quite red instead of like orangey and yellow. So I'm just going to try and fix that by going in with those oranges and yellows again. And there is like colours in this palette that I don't have in other palettes if you get what I mean. Um, sorry, I'm just fixing this eye too. <laughs> There's colours that I have in this palette that I don't have in other palettes. Like it's a really, really good palette for everything. So just looking and seeing where I am sort of thing. I'm, I think I'm in like a good enough place now to like cut my crease and then see what needs working on after that. So you guys know the drill by now. I'm gonna take some micellar water, cotton bud, and I'm just gonna get rid of some of this excess eyeshadow so then I have a little path to follow to cut my crease. And a nice little tip for people with hooded eyes like me, you can always, you can cut the crease literally wherever you want, it doesn't have to be in your crease. Like my crease is actually here. Like that is where my crease is but I just do it higher because I've just spent all this time cutting the crease. I want people to see it. So I've cleaned off as much as I can be bothered of that and I'm just going to go in with my Sigma Cut Crease E42 brush and yeah if you've seen my other videos you know that this is the best brush for cutting creases and all I'm going to do is swipe it in the P. Louise base to make that really really thin edge and because it's curved like this it's actually perfect little template for getting a really nice round cut then just filling it in and yeah if you just take a moment to like look and be like right is it is it even like I can see that maybe it needs to go like a little tiny bit higher on this eye honestly taking time to just sit and look sometimes really really does help and then a really really important bit is just putting your peelies base here and tapping over it to make sure that you get that tackiness away on the edge 
So then when you go to blend in this with this, you're not gonna get any funny lines in your blend. So then I'm going in with this Tahiti Green Shimmer on a Beauty Bay Shade Out brush. It was in one of the collections. Um, I think it's like the Travel Collection brush set that I got this from. And that is just going straight on that cut crease. And you can just see like how amazing this shimmer is. All the shimmers in this palette just glide on. Getting right up to that cut crease to make sure it's a really nice sharp edge. And if you do ever want to like tidy up the edges of your cut creases at all, you can just go in with like a tiny sort of detailer brush. Um, I'm gonna do it here just to show you. I'm gonna go in with that chili pepper and all I'm gonna do is go around where I cut that crease to really make sure that that is a nice sharp cut crease. So now that that's down, I'm just gonna go in with an E36 Sigma blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the black in the palette and literally just blend that into the shimmer. And I, as you can see, I am going on like a diagonal that's just to really darken up that outer corner. I do prefer to go in with like blacks last just to change the tone of the existing colour instead of just having black on my face. And there, now that that is all on, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back with you to see if anything else needs like doing and to do the lower lash line. So as you can see, the rest of the face is done. Um, I think I'm happy with how we're looking so far on the eyes. So I'm just gonna do underneath. So going in with the Blackberry shade first, under the eye, and then magenta, underneath that and further in. And then totally smoking underneath that out with mango and a bit of that yellow. And I'll just do the other eye. And then to finish off for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with vanilla, which is this shimmer here. And I'm just going in with like a really, really tiny detailer brush. And bobbing that there. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna add some mascara to my bottom lash line and I'm also gonna put a little bit of green in my waterline as well. And so guys, this is the finished look. What do we think? Honestly, I am so, so, so in love with this palette. I don't have a palette that works as well as this other than the Carnival 4, the antidote because the, the Be Perfect formulas are incredible and especially Stacey Marie's, like that woman just knows eyeshadows and she knows what to put in a palette. I really, really like the mattes. I really, really, really like the shimmers, the sort of like dual toned ones where, that I've used on my inner corner, the light sort of shift, the um, duochromatic ones. Honestly, the palette is fantastic. If you haven't tried it, honestly, please do give it a go. The shadows are so, so easy to work with. So even if you're a beginner, you will be able to use this palette and there's so, so many colors in it. You can create whatever you want. If you've tried the palette, let me know what you think. Tag me in any looks any at all because I love a little bit of inspo. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I can see all of you that keep clicking the like button, the subscribe button. Honestly, it really, really does mean a lot. So a big, big thank you. So it's just a case of staying well, staying safe and stay happy, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.